Guys, hopefully you can see this. Uh, I have a customer that brought me two servers with probably one of the worst viruses or ransomware that I've ever seen. Uh, been working in IT since I was 15, so about 25 years or more. Um, so, yeah, I've never seen anything like this. This is called like a it's ransomware, and it basically uh, totally encrypts the whole hard drive. So messes with the master boot record. And this thing won't even boot, but I'll boot this up real quick and I'll show you what's going on. And uh, it's called a, it, like a crypto where ransomware. I'm still trying to figure it out, but uh, yeah, this is by far the worst I've ever seen. This thing is totally hijacked, and I'll go through some of the other things that it actually destroyed too, which is the uh, it also encrypted, encrypted the backup hard drive too. So this customer I don't talk to very much, you know, every couple of years, but. Their USB backup drive, that thing's also encrypted too, so I can't even get the data off of it. So um, they do actually have some other backup hard drives from a couple of years ago. So I mean, at this point, dude, this they're shit out of luck. I mean, this is this is brutal. Um, try to work this thing on. Yeah, they put this. They store this like a they store this in their, like a cabinet. So I guess he put this on there to filter out dust or something. But so I have a I have a SQL server here and. Uh, that's actually a domain controller and a uh, file server, and that's like I said, that's SQL server. It runs a custom uh, CRM program they have. But uh, all right, so let me get back and I'll show you what the, uh, shows on the screen here. Yeah, like I said, I've never seen anything like this before. You know, I mean, I've seen vi I've I've dealt with you know thousands of viruses, but yeah, this is crazy. Guys, yeah, you can see the computer booting up. This is Dell server. It's a T110. Small server, just a small SQL. All right, guys. Too bad I can't connect this to my computer where you can actually I can use my real recording program. The one I do the other videos in, when I'm doing like uh, showing you guys Windows stuff. But okay, so that's what you see right there. See where it says decrypt contact server da 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 enter password. So I'm gonna email this guy and see what he actually wants. I mean, I've read I read online that they actually want like Bitcoin or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just curious to see how much the guy wants for this ransom. Yeah, because even if you pay the ransom, there's no guarantees that you're gonna they're gonna give you the password and it's gonna work. So um, I've heard a lot of stories about that. So um, all right, so I'm gonna use a, a thing called Acronis Disk Director, and I want to actually look at the hard drives and see what's actually really going on. You know, like like what's been modified. You know, kind of do I still see the actual partitions? I mean, is NTF gone? Is the whole hard drive encrypted? Like, what the hell is going on with this hard drive? Um, yeah, because if this whole hard drive is encrypted, password encrypted, I mean, this there's no no recovery. Yeah, without the password. So, and that from what I read, this that's what they do. They just encrypt the whole hard drive. I mean, that's why I said this is the worst, uh, whatever virus we want to call it, ransomware I've ever seen for. So, um, I just man, it, what's funny is if people are this freaking smart to be able to do this, dude, they don't have to be freaking criminals. <laughs> it drives me crazy. I mean, dude, you really literally, if you're this smart and you can actually encrypt hard drives remotely, I mean, dude, you seriously don't need to be a criminal. You can get a job legitimately, make money. All right. So I'm going to put in my uh, disk director uh, via USB key, or not key, like a little drive, thumb drive, and uh, see what I can see on these hard drives. All right, guys, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try to keep it stable here. Uh, yeah, I wish I was on my computer. I could get a better video of this, but... All right, so I have disk director loaded, and I can see the, the hard drives here. This is basically a uh, RAID 1 setup, and uh, actually I switched my SQL server to my this one because I couldn't get the... It's, a, it's an HP server, hardware RAID controller. And uh, this is the master boot record, so I'm just trying to figure out like what the hell happened. This is the actual data driver here, not formatted. It's also not showing this correctly because the master boot record basically says what this thing is. Um, that's the, my USB drive. That's the where the acronym is at. So, all right, I'm gonna do some digging around here and see if I can figure out something. But yeah, it's the partition's still there. It's just not. You know, you can't see it like this one. I can actually browse it. I can see the file. You know. Alright, so yeah, this actually, I thought this tool had a thing where you could actually fix the master boot record. 
I, mean, I guess I could always load it into a Windows 2000, uh, 2008 uh, software and put like, you know, fixed boot, but, um, you know, use the, load the, go in the command prompt and type in a fixed boot or fixed master boot record, but, alright guys, yeah, this is a nightmare run, this is, this is a brutal, brutal virus, or ransomware, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, I want to give you an update on this uh, crazy crypto uh, ransomware. So, um, that's what I'm getting on both servers. I have a file server, domain controller, and the SQL server. And this thing also took out their backup hard drive. So that's their backup hard drive. It was a four terabyte drive. It was doing actually server images. So, that's what it shows up as. It just shows up as raw. And then I have a Acronis Dits director connected to the file server here. And the same thing, that's that's the partition right there. Just not formatted. And I actually did send an email to that that email and I got a reply back and I'll, I'll show you that real quick on my other computer. But um, yeah, this is the worst I've ever seen. And uh, my other guy came by from uh, Data Mechanics. Uh, that's what these guys professionally fix hard drives. You know, they take them apart, they have a clean room. You know, they actually fix the heads, the circuit boards, all that stuff. So. Smartest guy I know when it comes to hard drive technology. And he, he said this basic thing is totally encrypted. Like usually with the ransomware, they encrypt the, um, you know, the, the, the old stuff, they would just encrypt the files. They encrypt some files, not some files. And, you know, they'd encrypt like documents and Excel stuff, things that were important to people, JPEGs. and But uh, now they just encrypt the whole hard drive. So you're totally out. Two servers encrypted and the backup drive. So this is the worst case scenario ever so yeah brutal brutal hey guys what's up so I just wanted to show you this email I got back from those guys that uh, hacked the servers um, okay kids getting annoying in the background if you can hear him he's back there um, all right, so hello, what is your external IP or service domain? So yeah, basically it tracks it by IP address. So basically it sounds like once this thing does a thing, it sends out a, a like sort of like a, creates like a log file of all the systems they probably hacked. Should have encrypted with full disk encryption. We offer obtain passwords via donation in Bitcoins. And also security report, full details how we're compromised. I don't even care about this, you know, at this point, but uh, we provide one, Demo password for non-important PC for demonstrate, please. Um, yeah, that's so. Uh, that's maybe I'll ask him to see if they can send a password. <laughs> um, and it says anonymous, misspelled. So, um, yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm gonna have to reinstall the servers and try to find a some backup files because that's this is brutal so if any of you guys are actually backing your system up with a USB hard drive and doing server images this thing took out that too so um, I mean I used to back up with tapes a long time ago but I mean tapes are kind of outdated so but yeah this is something to consider I mean your whole backup hard drive could be encrypted too and this is the case for this people they had two server images the SQL server and the uh, domain controller but uh, yeah this is pretty bad so all right, hopefully this helps somebody. Cool.